Morning guys, as you can see I'm on my little electric push bike. I'm on my way home from work. Morning. It's such a lovely morning, it's about 9.30. The sun is shining, it's just so warm already. Um, as you know, I've got the door off the van, been doing some patching up on it. So, we're going away on Friday, so it doesn't give me long now to get it sorted out in between the time I've got. Whether I will, or whether I have to chuck it on before I finish, we will see. So I'm just gonna go in, get changed, and we'll crack on. Okay, so we put this paint on the door the other day, so that's all good. So I'm going to flip it back over now, concentrate on the front of it, trying to get it look a bit better so we can get it back on the bus. First thing I've done before I flip it over is put this rubber back in. I'll just put some strips of double sided tape behind it. Yep, the rubber is all cracked, but still going to serve its purpose and that's how I want it so back us going well back is gone right let's get it flipped over I've flipped the door back over I've also masked up the glass and the white part around the top with some old newspapers because now I'm going to have to start this sanding and smoothing off and obviously I'm going to have to sand the whole door a little bit so that we can um, paint it. So next job is flatten out where this fellow is. I'll just give it a first sand of a, just bring down these high spots. Now I need to obviously smooth out best I can, but we all know what I'm like with sanding and filler and I'll just say again it's not a restoration so not trying to get it perfect all I want to do is make it look um, tidy there's plenty of buses going around what a rusty or the patina look um, there's plenty of buses what have been fully restored and they look absolutely lovely what I'm after with Bertie Bus is just a clean looking usable bus and that's what I want to get it looking like so without rusty holes so we'll put some more filler on here now and some more smoothing and filling and smoothing till I can get it roughly looking how I want it and then we'll go all over the door just saying there's a lot of pits in there in this door what I didn't realize there's quite a big Goge here. Uh, I just think we'll try and get some paint on it. It's going to look 10 times better. Right, get on with this. Well, it's been rubbed down two or three times now and filled. I'm getting somewhere near now. I've just put a little bit more filler in. It's going off really quickly because, well, just look at it glorious day I don't know what the temperature is it's pretty warm so it's only mixing up a little tiny bit of filler at a time because it's going off super fast but that's good because I want to get on right we'll let that dry I think I could get a drink and then do some more sanding well as you can see by the different colors so I'm using like um, a ready colour hardener and also using a white so I can see roughly. Now you know how I feel, I'm fed up with the snow but there's a couple of low places, edges here I'm going to try and just get them, just try to mix up a tiny bit of filler, redo there, here, these little holes but I think on the whole I'm going to leave it. There is a dip here where it's been pulled in. It might have already been there or I might have done it. I'm not sure. 
I could skim the whole lot filler, but the idea in my head is I want to keep the filler nice and thin. I don't want it 10 mil thick or whatever. I want it nice and thin, less chance of it cracking and falling out. So I'm going to give that a wipe off now and then just try and fill these little areas I can see. Then another rub down and then I'm going to rub down the whole door um, just key it and we'll get some primer on it and always put a look through bits more filler in if it looks bad but I ain't going to get rid of this wavy bit and I'm not worried about it there's a few little pits in the door here where I missed but like I said not after perfection just looking okay right crack on with this can see where I just filled the holes little pits um, when I first started mixing this I thought I ain't mixing properly these little red bits but what the red bits are is I was mixing it up on an old um, L plate and the red was coming off so that should be fine it won't take long for that to go off you can give that a quick rub down I'll just give it a rub down. I've actually rubbed the whole door down some fine paper as you can see it's all dusty. I'm going to give that a wipe off now, clean it up and I think it's time to get some primer on it. I can always rub it down if there's any bad bits, put a bit of filler in. But I need to crack on now. I know I can't do anything tomorrow, Wednesday or maybe an hour. And then that only leaves me Thursday because I want the paint to dry a bit so I can get the door back on to get away on Friday. Right, I need to get a move on. You can see it's still wet. Let's give it a wipe over with some thinners on a rag just to have a look. What I've just noticed here, definitely going to need a bit more filler in, maybe here. Um, I don't know whether to give it some undercoat see what happened or should I just quickly give that area another fill and rub decisions eh? I'll make a decision in a minute what I'm gonna do body over right I'll just give that a blow over with the undercoat so I'm just gonna keep well away from it now I don't want to touch it or anything let that dry and then We'll go from there. But just a quick glance from here, it's looking okay. Well, there's the undercoat on. Obviously, there's a couple of places. If you look carefully, you can see. But I ain't really got time now to do that. I'm just going to put a couple of coats of top coat on it. And I think I'll look fine. Let's get to it. Actually, give that a coat, leave that out to dry, see how it comes off. Right, get out of it. Morning, guys. So, I just got back from work. It's going to be another hot day. See, the sun's just breaking through. It's going to be the hottest day so far. It's hot enough yesterday. Let's have a look how the door's getting on. Just open the other door. Well, it's dry, bright. Ah, the only place which really bothers me is here. You can see a small bit. The paint is actually dry, got a skin on it, but that'll take couple of three days to go a bit hard to go hard enough before I'll even put on the van but it's quite durable paint this is the kind of paint that they put on machinery um, diggers and tractors and stuff so that'll be quite hard so what I'm going to do is just leave it now another day at least before putting on the van probably get on what's today Tuesday 
Wednesday or Thursday ready for the off and then later on because I'm going to do another panel on the side of the van I shall rubbish down put a bit of filler in as a little nick air but to be honest I'm not too bothered I prefer the door to look like this than what I did so that's good right there we are again what a beautiful day already look it's gonna be super hot well there's the door I'm gonna get it put on this morning as you can see the van's already been uncovered need to pull it forward to make myself some room and we'll get this door put back on also this double sided tape effort I put in here didn't really work so I'll put something else in there I'll show I've got something to stick that in with right so we got the door on it's a little bit windy today so it's nice breeze that not look too bad does it um, far better than what it was like I said a thousand times I'm not trying to fully restore my van just trying to make the old bus look a little bit better I'm going to touch anything else now because it's getting too close to our next camping trip I'm slowly working my way round to tidy up this wheel arch next I guess a bit on the front corner this could do with being rubbed down and repainted really this door with a split in which is obviously filler but I might be able to get away with just touching that up I don't know yet I know the bottom of the door has gone because I put tape on it this piece here that's going to be a job As you can see this panel's been painted and the dirt's been running down on it. I need to do that panel. I did the step, not perfect but darn so bad than that was. And the repairs on the back end. Just better than rusty old holes, I think. Other people like rusty holes, but I sure don't. This paint's not brilliant. Uh, I'll touch over that later. When I do this panel, I'll try and get this one into here somewhere. We will see. That's forever chasing it. And there's the door. That was pretty bad, that door, but it's a little bit wavy. But there's no rusty holes, and I'm pleased with it. So I'm going to end this video here guys and I'll catch you in the next one which will be away on our next trip. Bye for now.